is Aruna Ma here. I'm being joined today by our lovely Beth Knowles from ARA Institute of Canterbury. So um, I welcome you, uh, Beth, to our session. Uh, the guys that are joining us today, I think today is quite a perfect timing to be having this session. INZ is re-emphasizing on the toughness of the labor market that is going to happen and is already happening um, in New Zealand in the immigration scene. INZ will be working with employers and recruiting New Zealanders for the role. And so what does that mean for migrants um, that are applying for those visas? Or they may be kind of, you know, those visa pathways may be cut out for them because of the changing labor market. So um, some, of the, some of the options that you've got, and if you are looking at upskilling at this time, you may want to consider studying and upskilling and going back into education. Um, the student visa allows you to ride out this challenge and this non-conclusive labor market. And I think by the time you get onto your post-study work options, we're hoping that things will be quite different, which is why we're running these series of sessions for you so that you can come and see what's the right course for you, ask the questions, ask questions about the courses. So before I get into the actual session and ARA, bet yourself. Certainly, I've been in international education for over 30 years. So I was right at the forefront of the international education industry opening up in New Zealand. And um, I'm a great advocate for internationalization. And so I've, I really feel very privileged to work in this industry. And um, I've worked in four different tertiary institutions in New Zealand, and I've been at ARA since 2007. So um, I love the institution that I work in now. I think our Institute of Canterbury is a fantastic institution and I love the way we work with people like yourself, Arunima, and also with our employers and industry. And we have a fantastic economic development agency in Christchurch called Christchurch New Zealand. And we work very closely with them around employment for our students and filling the skill gaps of our region. So we're very, very focused on outcomes for our international students in particular. That's brilliant, especially people that are within New Zealand and that are looking at going back into education. For them, sort of connecting with, with the job market is the key criteria for them to study. Um, you know, a lot of these people come have come into New Zealand through overseas agents without knowing what the labor market in New Zealand is like without knowing about the right courses. And I know that ARA is definitely one of those unique institutions where there's a very strong industry connection. And you've just touched on that briefly. Can you please elaborate for the people here, what does that actually mean from a practical point of view? Well, we are an institute of technology, so we're government owned, and there is a big strategy for the institutes of technology to work as close as possible with the labor market and with employers. So we have a very strong connection with um, all the employers in our region and particularly those in the industries related to our programs or professional bodies that we're working with. So that gives us a huge advantage when it comes to training our students because most of our programs will have work integrated learning as part of the study. So the students right from day one are getting integrated into the types of networks where they will find employment. And we bring those employers on campus several times a year. So they will get opportunities to meet with them, talk about some of the research projects that they're involved with as part of their study. And it really does give them a huge advantage over um, some other providers, I think. So when you talk about um, practical components in the course, is that the internship model or how does that how does that fit into the course? Is it the standard internship model like other providers? I don't um, I don't like referring to it as internship because a lot of internship for people from overseas means something that you do at the end of your study rather than it being integrated into the learning. So our students will be working on research projects or study that um, they need to do in the workplace and they will work on a real life situation. And the value of what they come up with in these projects is often 
greatly valued by the employer. So, and they start to build the relationships and understand how the workplace in New Zealand operates as well, because it's quite often quite different from their home country, as you can imagine. Absolutely. Like I started, um, said at the start of this conversation, this is the downtime. We know that after downtime comes high time. And so we've been through really highs and lows, but right now through these lows, if, if people can be cleverer with how they want to plan their careers and go back into upskilling themselves, by the time they're finished with their studies, the chances are the economy would be bouncing back. Things would mm. be opening, the board would be opening, and there would be those jobs where, you know, which cannot be filled in by that local um, workforce available in New Zealand. Mm.